morning. I get to uh, bring the thought before communion this morning. It feels strange not being able to be with you guys and having to do this um, on video. You can see where you guys are joining me in my office. This is where I normally program. But uh, anyway, we'll get into it. Um, boy, yesterday was a beautiful day. It's a good reminder of spring is here. Um, and when the seasons change, it's it reminds me how that God is in control. Um, I One of the verses I found about that is when... Um, after the flood and Noah is off the ark, God promises that while the earth remains, seed time and harvest, cold and heat, summer and winter, day and night shall not cease. That's from Genesis 8, 22. So here we see, you know, God is in control of the seasons and in the harvest and now let's shift gears a little bit. How is God in control of our spiritual lives? Well, God is in control. He was in control even before he created the world. Um, I wanted to read a section from Ephesians chapter 1, verses 3 and 5. 3 through 5, I'm sorry. And this will be uh, from the New Living Translation. I like how that reads for this section. All right, so all praise to God, the Father of our Lord Jesus Christ, who has blessed us with every spiritual blessing in the heavenly realms because we are united with Christ. Even before he made the world, God loved us and chose us in Christ to be holy and without fault in his eyes. God decided in advance to adopt us into his own family by bringing us to himself through Jesus Christ. This is what he wanted to do, and it gave him great pleasure. So in this section, there's a couple of phrases I wanted to focus on. So even before he made the world, God loved us and chose us in Christ. So even before he made us, God knew he was going to send Christ and he was going to make us his children. And then it even goes on um, and says it again, uh, God decided in advance that we would be part of his family um, and adopt us. So isn't that great news? Um, I know right now when things feel you know, different with the social isolation and stuff like that. It's a good reminder for me, you know, as I see the seasons change, then it makes me think of verses like this, that God is in control. Um, and then one final verse, as we start, you know, thinking about um, Christ's sacrifice, um, in 1 Corinthians eleven twenty six, talks about how that, you know, as often as we eat, this bread and drink the cup, you proclaim the Lord's death until he comes. So God is even in control of, you know, when God, when Christ comes back to get us and he's promised us that. So as we take of the bread and the drink of the cup, let us remember that God is in control and that God hasn't forgotten about us and he will uh, send his, his son and we can be with him in heaven. All right, let us pray for the cup, or for the bread. Father, I thank you so much that you are in control and that you take care of us. Thank you for um, the beauty of this world that reminds us of that. Um, I thank you that you have taken care of our spiritual needs through Christ, that we have every blessing, every spiritual blessing in Christ. Thank you that we can take this time and think about Jesus's 
life, his example, and his sacrifice on the cross for us. As we take of this bread, let us remember his body, and um, also let us remember each other as we are separated right now, um, but help us to remember that you will take care of us and that we will be able to uh, meet together again, we hope soon. We ask this prayer in Jesus' name, amen. All right, let's say another prayer now for the cup. Father, we thank you again for Christ's sacrifice, for his blood that makes us as white as snow and um, that allows us to be called your children. And we thank you that you decided to do that even before you made this world. We um, thank you for this you know, fruit of the vine that helps us to remember Christ and his um, sacrifice, his blood, that he did this in our place. We thank you and we ask this prayer in Jesus' name. Amen. All right, guys, thank you for um, listening this morning. I will um, post another video for uh, giving next, but I look forward to seeing you guys face-to-face -face soon. All right, bye.